All right, well, hi, I'm Karen. In this video today, I'm gonna to be reviewing this new palette here from e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is their 70s feel palette. I bought this palette because after using this one right here, I wanna say it's like totally changed my mind and made me more curious about more of the products that e.l.f. is coming out with. And of course, you know, who really wants to spend $10? Just to keep it real. Like who wants to spend $10 on a small little eyeshadow palette? But I can kind of see why. Anyway, let's just go ahead and jump into this video so you can see how this eyeshadow swatched, how it performed, and my final thoughts on it as well. Anyway, let's just go ahead and jump into the video. All right, so it looks like these come in three different shades. They have the 70s feels, the 80s vibes, and the 90s mood. I got the 70s vibe because, I don't know, it just looked like it was some colors that... I wouldn't mind having in my collection. That's kind of what I look for when I'm looking at these new makeup releases when they come out. I'm looking to see what's missing out of my collection, what's different and unique, what's so special about this that we want to try it out type of thing. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not necessarily looking to purchase every single palette and they all look the same and they all have the same color story, give or take. You know what I mean? Now I will say after using this particular palette here, Elf has definitely piqued my interest when it comes to their newer formulas and their newer releases. So that's why I purchased this right here. Now I do want to note that this is quite unique. I've never received a packaging from Elf before that you had to do this number to open it. At least they made it easier to take the tab off. <laughs> I will say that I, I give that to them. Is that, yeah, that opens it. All right. Oh, and then it comes with these little things right here. I personally have come to grown to love these. Do not throw these away. I want to say if you struggle to get your shimmer eyeshadows on and things like that, and cream eyeshadows, these are perfect for that because they're shaped to fit in these areas that is a little bit more difficult to fit underneath. So don't throw these away. Save these things. Save them. All right. So let's go ahead and do a swatch. Ooh. Oh, wow. These feel nice. Ooh, this is what I was hoping for. I was hoping that this green was going to be like that. Ooh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, I'm very excited about that um, brazen shade. I don't know what it is. I've just been into like the burgundies and the raisin type shades lately, especially like for blush and stuff. Those last two colors would be a really pretty combo. Like, so let's see what we can create with it. I, I'm gonna save this green because I wanna use it in some other green looks here on my channel. Gosh, these are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> All right. I'm working to use up my products. This, so I'm going to be using this here from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Correct Dark Circles for Light Skin Tones. I personally love creams and things like that to use. I personally love to use creams as eyeshadow bases. Uh, I just I just think they perform better and everything clings to it, especially when you like flatten it out and make it a smoother texture. Anyway, I just, I like creams and I need to use this up. I'm gonna be using this palette here in conjunction with this because I would like to use some matte colors in my crease. I'm not saying you can't use any of these shimmer colors in your crease, but I just want to start off with some mattes. I look at this palette here as something to use in conjunction with another palette that you have. Um, so maybe they're planning on coming out with some little mattes for that, I don't know. Or maybe they, I don't know. I don't know what they're planning. So I'm gonna go in with this I'm gonna go in with this shade here fresh just to have something easy to blend into. And I'm, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna go in with this cool tone shade here and it's in Witty. Go back in with fresh. And I'm doing this to darken the, the outer corner and so like eyeshadow doesn't dust all up into my eye, which seems to be like a 
major issue for me, <laughs> especially with like avoiding, you know, my eyes tearing up and all that great stuff. See that? All that. <clears throat> and this is the e.l.f. Detail crease brush I just used. And this blending one is the Japanesque 835. That's looking good so far. That's looking really pretty. I think I need to use these colors more. Before I go any further, let's pick up a little bit of Smooth, which is also another deeper cool tone brown. I don't think I need to go that dark, but I just want to ensure that I'm darkening this outer corner. You know, if, I probably don't have to, to be quite honest. I'm going to put this on the side and just so I can really like get up right there. All right, now we can go back in there and fix that. Going to tap back in the witty just so I don't blend away any eyeshadow and I can blend the edges of this thing. Here we go. Done. I'm going to go in with this last shade right here. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. That's what I'm talking about. It's about time, elf. But you know why it's $10 though, right? <laughs> Beautiful shade. Oh, and the formula. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh, wow. I really, really like this color. Tell me, don't throw these brushes away. All right, so I'm gonna blend some of that shimmer into my crease. Gosh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. So pretty. For the bottom, let's kind of do the same thing. I want to keep this look elegant looking, you know what I mean? Add it on the side, not on the flat, but on the side of the sponge again. So we can easily like line and not get it everywhere. All right, then I'm going to go in a little bit with this shade right here. So we kind of like open up the inner corner. Let's blend out those edges and then go back to that color so we can blend in the edge. There we go. Ooh, I'm like, what kind of lip color would go with this? All right, let's curl the lashes and apply mascara. L'Oreal Lash Paradise in Black is Black and it's the waterproof formula. All right, for blush, um, let me see if I can use this. I just bought this from e.l.f. This is their new Luminous Blush in Luminous Bronze, and it's kind of like a raisin color. I'm just gonna use a, a tad, because I have another blush on, but I wanna see if I can make it look a little bit more grapey. Yeah, just a little bit. It toned it down just a little bit, but it makes it match with the eye look. Yeah, nighttime, I don't mind, but daytime, I wouldn't want to be this blushed out. This is my facial toner. <sighs> that just looks so pretty now that it's like melted in. This is Remo Lasting Finish in Cafe Ule. And then I am going to use Chocoholic from Maybelline in 785. And then I'm going to put on Beige Babe in 545, also from Maybelline. And this is just to give it a bit of dimension in the center. I'm going to go over it a little bit with this um, lip plumping gloss from e.l.f. And it is in the shade Mocha Twist. And it's like, like a really light, dusty rose color. Just a little. There you go. Just to add a little bit of sheen, but the color isn't too, too bright. It's definitely something that's closer to this color. So I like that. I like that. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna say I'm glad I picked out this particular palette. It's not all dark. My thing is I don't always wear dark colors. And if you're looking to put a, find a way to like add a pop of color, which is honestly why I even bought this. I bought this more for the green. So I can have a more dimensional green look with some of the other green eyeshadows that I already own. I felt like I was kind of lacking in the lighter green department. So that's why I purchased this right here. But lo and behold, these two were hiding out over here for me to use. So I have to say I love it. And then of course, using this in conjunction with using this palette as well, where the mattes blend beautifully. Um, they had a nice cool tone shades to continue that whole cool tone, smoky eye look. I think we forget sometimes. It's just, it looks beautiful. I know we're like, we've been in this warm trend, warm trend, warm trend, but some looks require a cool tone brown to create that evening smoky eye look that looks sultry. But anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. If you've seen this and you were questioning it, thinking, oh, it's just a waste of $10, I'm going to tell you this 
based on just using this just now for the first time, it is worth it. The shimmers are just, they're beautiful. Yes, are you kidding me? Like, I need somewhere to go now. <laughs> Good to work. <laughs> Yeah, and if you were like fair and light skin and you looking for something to like pow in your face, stand out, you would like this. And if you're a deep skin tone, oh my gosh, this would just make your eyelids just look like it's just glowing and radiant. Anyway, those are just my thoughts. I'm sure you have your own, but I personally love this on my skin. Anyway, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to go ahead and give it a thumbs up so more people like you on YouTube can find my channel on this side of YouTube. And I'll talk to y'all soon. <laughs> Bye.